believe this story? Osama bin Laden? Yeah. What convinced you? Her confidence. You will never find him. He is one of the disappeared ones. Hey everybody, Rick Mulligan here with Under Review. Yeah, I've been slacking bad. I think the last thing I did was Batman so long ago. It's just terrible. Well, it's 2013, but we're going to talk uh, pretty much about the last movie of 2012. Uh, just came out uh, in a in a nation release, not a full nation nationwide release just yet. That's going to happen next week. Uh, but we're going to talk about Zero Dark Thirty. Wow, if you were ever curious as to what happened and how we got uh, Osama bin Laden, then you need to check out Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, it's a long movie. It's brought to us by Catherine Bigelow. She's the Academy Award winning director for The Hurt Locker uh, a few years back with Jeremy Renier. I kind of put him, in, him on the map. Uh, she's a great military director. She's very good at using uh, military and, and creating military themes and directing around them and working with them. I don't think she worked with the military on this one, mainly because I don't think the United States government really wants us to know exactly what happened when uh, SEAL Team 6 went in and got Osama Bin Laden. In fact, the name SEAL Team 6 isn't even used in this movie. Uh, it takes place pretty much starting right uh, right at 9-11, uh, which is you know obviously terrible. We don't see any of that footage, which I think is good. But we hear a lot of sounds and audio and some phone calls and some 911 calls and some first responder stuff, and it's uh, kind of gets you a little bit. It, it doesn't necessarily take you right back there, thankfully, uh, but it gives you that feeling, that sense of um, almost helplessness that we all had. Uh, and then it deals with what they do over the next you know 10 years to, uh, in fact, catch Osama bin Laden. Uh, it's not pretty. There's some there's some torturing that scenes in there, and there's some things like that that are a little rough to watch. Uh, even Jessica Chastain's character, who's the lead, uh, is very squirmish about these things at first. Um, she puts a great she has a great portrayal of this character Maya. And she, I mean, just an amazing performance. Very uh, likely will be nominated for an Oscar. Don't necessarily think she could win it. She's definitely going to be the front runner uh, for for the Oscar. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Zero Dark Thirty is a gritty film in terms of the military element of it. It's very raw uh, in terms of how they gather intelligence and what they do with it, and then how politics changes it, how harder, much harder it becomes to get intelligence when elements change, when government says you can't do this or you can do that, and it changes. Those are kind of things that get a little um, muck the water, so to speak. Uh, we, we spend so much time in this movie building up to the, the end, building up to what's going to happen, building up to seeing this... Uh, this raid, seeing what this uh, non-named group in the movie we all know as SEAL Team 6 is going to do. And uh, it's pretty awesome once you get in and you see the military operations and the tactics. Other proof that Catherine Bigelow really knows what she's doing when it comes to military stuff. She's got good people she works with and uses this very well as, as a good platform to tell her story uh, of Zero Dark Thirty and, and what happens around the uh, uh, murdering of, of someone who killed thousands of innocent people around the world uh, in Osama Bin Laden. Uh, if you haven't seen it, um, which I'm sure you haven't because it's in very limited release, handful of cities, uh, I, I was in New York and LA and it's uh, last year essentially so that it could get some Oscar contention um, and now it's starting to spread to wide release. There's some here in Dallas and next week it goes nationwide. So if you haven't had a chance to see it, uh, if you obviously it hasn't opened some of your cities, go check it out. Uh, I'm going to put it in the 2012 category just because of when it was originally released and um, it is, it's in my top, my top few films. I mean, I'd have to say I'll put it at probably number three uh, for the year. Um, and you know, my, my top 12 list I did with over at Tanked Radio. We, we did a podcast for that, that last week. Uh, I'll throw a link up to that in the bottom of this. So if you haven't heard that, you can check it out. And uh, just understand that my top 12 is amended. Zero Dark Thirty makes it in at number three. And uh, it's an amazing movie. Uh, if, you, if you like military films, you're going to love it. If you don't like military movies, maybe not going to want to check it out as much. But it does deal with a lot of um, how spies work in the CIA and how those things. And they do a great job of keeping uh, events practical and how they work them in time. There's a lot of information in this movie and it moves fast. Um, 
a lot of things happening, you know, things that are bombing that happen in London, uh, bombings that happen in the United States, an attack on a base. Like, they do a really good job of tying all these things together to tell this story and how uh, central intelligence works or fails uh, to do its job. So, uh, check out Zero Dark Thirty, you won't be disappointed. Also, if you haven't had a chance, go over to Under Review. It's a Facebook page, it's Under Review, it's one word. I'll put a link on the bottom here. Like it for me, check it out. Uh, we, we put stuff up occasionally, not try to do crazy. However, 2013, I'm going to make a much better effort to put reviews up on a regular basis. So, look for more from me in 2013. Look forward to seeing more from you. I'm Rick Mulligan uh, for Under Review. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.